Morning Sainers, welcome to the Saints TV YouTube channel, welcome to Saints TV Weekly for May 15th, 2023, off the back of a, yeah, disappointing weekend. Um, there is still some more news to get into, but we'll kick it off straight away. With the round 9 result, we went down to the Adelaide Crows by 52 points, 69 to 121, our biggest loss of the season, the biggest score we've conceded. Um, and I think our biggest loss since round 10, 2021, when we lost to the Bulldogs by 111 points. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, not, not a great day at the office. The boys weren't in it from start to finish, apart from maybe a decent second quarter where we kicked four goals to their four. Uh, but apart from that, we were outplayed, out outmuscled. They were clinical in front of goal, hardly missed, um, and played the perfect game, and we were well off our best. So... Um, we've got to lick our wounds, come back stronger against GWS on Sunday. Away again, Gresham, King, Webster, Windhager, Jack Billings, all should be available for the coming game against the Giants. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, yeah, a bit disappointing. We, we wanted to see the boys rally against a good team away from home, and uh, they did the opposite. But it is a long season, and um, there's going to be plenty of games that we can you know, sink our teeth into and hopefully make up for what was a really, really upsetting performance yesterday, particularly because we were at Moravian Social, not at the Bentley Social for Mother's Day. So we were at the footy club, great turnout um, at the footy club. And um, yeah, not not a great environment, I would say, uh, watching that game there. But it was good to at least be amongst Saners and share the frustration and have a chat even after the game and, and get that sort of, you know, that emotion out of the way. Um, but yeah, my full reviews on the YouTube channel. So if you want to watch that in full after this, make sure you go to my round nine review and give that a watch as well. In good news though, Sandy got the job done. So that's a positive. They won um, against Port Melbourne by 21 points. I've got the scores here, 80 to 59. Uh, four, uh, three goals to Marcus Winhager, who was by far man of the match. His stats were as follows. Uh, the most on the ground with 36 disposals, three goals to 24 kicks, six marks, 12 handballs, six tackles, if you don't mind. On top of that, I think uh, for Sandy, the next best was Jimmy Webster with 28 disposals, played really well, took 11 marks, 11 handballs, sorry, uh, and four marks. Jack Billings, 24 disposals, two points, played really well. Tyson Milne, again, continuing his good form with 21 disposals. Tom Highmore, 20 disposals. And then, obviously, Tom Campbell in the ruck, 31 hitouts with 18 disposals. On top of that, Zane Cordy, 14 disposals. Van Ez, 13. Um, and then Paris with 10. And then everyone else under that was... Um, I think there's Mitch Owens' brother kicked a goal, eight disposals as well. So, decent for him to get to get a goal and eight disposals. Um, so, there's gonna that adds you know some headaches to selection, which is good. Marcus Winhager, I think, should have been playing on the weekend. He wasn't. Uh, Jack Bartell was the sub. I think that Windy's got to come in off the back of that performance. You think Jimmy Webster as well for maybe a Ben Patton. Uh, Jack Billings would be a shout. Jade Gresham's a shout. And then obviously Max King you'd think would be a lock with uh, Tim Membry obviously out with concussion, which I didn't mention off the top. Tim Membry was the only key injury. Uh, and that's the, the heavy head knock uh, on the grass when he took a mark. Great mark. Um, and would have built some momentum in the game. But unfortunately, yeah, just... Clipped his legs, hit his head first on the grass and um, concussion protocol. He misses the rest of the game and obviously he's going to miss the GWS game. So straight swap for King. Um, and then off the back of that, yeah, Windy, Webster, Billings, Gresh, all these guys are going to be in with a big chance of coming in to face the Giants. Now off field, um, well, on field, but off field in terms of playing group, um, we've got a specialist goal kicker, goal kicking role um, assigned to David Whedon. Um, now he's, he's quite well known in this space. He's written a book on it. Um, he's done stints at Collingwood, Carlton, Richmond, Essendon, and Geelong following his playing career at the Magpies between 1968 and 1970. He did publish the book, The Art of Goal Kicking, as I mentioned. Um, and that's something that is analyzed to this day. Um, and yeah, I think off the back of the last couple of weeks, we've definitely needed a bit of an improvement there, but it's good to have a specialist coach in that position. And we're not just getting some ex player or whatever to come in and do it once or twice. It's someone that will come in and that's their literal role is to focus on the kicking. And, um, with Max King returning this week, I'm going to be very interested to see how he goes on his return. If his routine's changed at all, I feel like 
on the weekend, our goal kicking wasn't terrible, but obviously against North, it was um, it was at an all-time low. We were shocking on that day. So um, good to welcome David Whedon on board um, in a specialist goal kicking position. Now, this also happened about four or five days ago, the Indigenous Guernsey. Now, bloody hell, there's been some nice designs over the years, but I absolutely love this design. It still stays very traditional to what we know is the red, white, and black, but obviously it's now yellow in the middle. I love that with the little, you know, sort of symbolic designs on, on either side of the center. I think it's a great design. I think we're going to look awesome in it. St. Kilda will wear its 2023 Indigenous Guernseys in rounds 10 and 11 against GWS and Hawthorne, respectively, with the latter a home game on Wurundjeri country. Okay, cool. All right, well, that answers the question. Sorry, saying as I'm a bit loose this morning. But yeah, um, that's awesome that we're going to see it in the next two weeks because I think it's one of the best designs we've ever had, to be honest. I, I absolutely love it. Um, I think it looks pretty boss, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that came out during the week, so make sure you order that before it sells out if it hasn't already. Um, just like the, uh, the Heritage jackets, those were gone in a second. I'm still waiting for mine. Um, but yeah, that was the other bit of news. And then obviously, uh, in the lead up, we've got the giant Sunday, 4.40 PM, lock that in giant stadium, New South Wales, expected rain, 16 degrees where favorites as expected, the giants just got smashed by Collingwood last night by about 60 points. So both teams are going to be coming off some disappointing uh, results. They're three and six, we're six and three, but we have to travel there and every, anything can happen. We've had some pretty close games against the Giants away from home recently. But you'd like to think that with Max King coming back, maybe Gresham, um, Billings, these sort of guys will be a bit stronger for it. And we haven't lost two games in a row all season. And I don't think it's going to start now. I mean, yeah, I mean, last week was disappointing or yesterday was disappointing. But if we bounce back and then and then beat Hawthorne the week after, we go into the by 8-3 and three again. And then we reset after a week off, hopefully get some more plays back. And then um, basically the season restarts and we just want to go that same eight and three, seven and four sort of um, result again in the second part of the year. And then that takes us to, to finals pretty comfortably. So big game on the weekend for the boys. We'll be at the Bentley Social. So we're back at the Bentley Social. I'll put an event out during the week. We'll be there from about three o'clock. So if you want to come along, you don't want to watch the game at home alone or whatever, come along for a drink, discounted food and drinks. Um, and it's always a great environment at the Bentley Social. Really good Saints atmosphere. So looking forward to it, saying as uh, disappointing results on the weekend, but we've got some players to come back in, um, some good performances from Sandy, um, and obviously there's always next week in football. So bring on next week against the Giants, and I'll be back during the week for some more content on the Saints TV channels. So appreciate you guys watching this. Please like, comment your thoughts, and most importantly, subscribe. We're getting very, very close to 7,000 subscribers. And when we do, I'll be giving out that signed Nick Rewalt Guernsey uh, portrait over there. You can't see it in screen, but I'll be giving that out to a lucky subscriber. Um, as a prize so make sure you subscribe and you might win that so enjoy the rest of your day saying as it's monday the start of the week um and i'll be back tonight for the podcast and then during the week for some more content so as always take care and go you mighty saners see you guys